Today we're building a dragon egg that lights up when you hatch it, and we're using the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro. A high speed 14K beast that just may change the way you think about large format resin printers. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It, and today we're testing out the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro in our build. We're building a worm lean egg, and this printer is just what we need for our dragon egg build. First off, the screen is ridiculous. We're talking about 14K resolution on a 10.1 inch panel. That's 13,312 by 5,120 pixels with sub 50 micron accuracy. And yet, it's blazing fast up to 170 millimeters per hour with high speed resin. And that's just what we need for a build this big. You got auto resin filling, a dynamic temperature controlled vat for those thicker resins like Rigid 100, and six intelligent sensors so you don't wind up crying over half printed Dragon Tail. And yes, there is a built in carbon filter. Shout out to the autofill because nothing ruins immersion like running out of dragon juice mid-hatch. For this build of going big and printing a modular dragon in a dragon age, and this model is from Loot Studios. But we're going to modify it in order to incorporate our LEDs, and I'll show you exactly how we're doing that. The LEDs are going to be added into the back of the shell in order to give it some lighting, and when you take the top off, they're going to light up. But first, let's get this printed on the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro. One of the nicest parts about this printer is the large build volume. 223 by 126 by 230 millimeters. And let's also highlight just how detailed we're going to be able to go with 14K resolution. Spoiler alert, this dragon egg is going to hatch in style. Now let's get printing our wormling egg. So we sliced everything in the Anycubic slicer. It was super easy to use. We made holes for drainage, changed the wall thickness, and added supports. The printer interface was easy to use, and the prints came out smooth and crisp. For the channels for the LEDs and photoresistor, I used any cubic slicer to make the holes. I made the holes 7 millimeters. Most LEDs are around 6 millimeters. I always make the holes slightly larger as it makes assembly of electronics easier. Let's get the rest of this model printed and prepped. So now that we got all our pieces printed, we're going to start soldering all of our electronics together. Now, we're going to use this photoresistor. So the way this is going to work is think about your refrigerator, right? It's dark inside. You open the door and the lights turn on. So it's almost the exact opposite of a nightlight. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to connect our photoresistor to some LEDs and we're gonna power them with a nine volt battery. So we're gonna use a photoresistor, two LEDs, a battery connector, a battery, some solder, and the soldering iron. We're gonna get everything soldered together, and if you want a full tutorial on how to actually solder this and put everything together, I do have one, so I will link it in the description below. So we're gonna get everything put together, and I'll show you exactly how this dragon egg's gonna light up. If you want to learn how to solder or even just see some more in-depth videos on soldering, I have quite a few on my channel.
make sure to use straight tubing over any open wires. So now that everything's soldered up, let's see how well this works. You can see when the light's hitting it, it's very bright. If we put our finger over it, it dampens the light. Let's grab something to completely block out the light. Here we go. So when it's blocked out completely, the LEDs are completely dark. And now they're bright. We're going to use some cracking glue with accelerant and get everything assembled. So, as we can see, both of these LEDs are lit up due to the light being able to hit the sensor. Now, just like your refrigerated door, if we close it up and make it completely dark, the light goes off. Now, how do we know that? Because if I pull one of these out, you'll see it, there is no light. But if I open up the egg again, you'll see the LEDs are lit up. So, now we're going to just assemble everything, and then we're going to see what it looks like with our dragon egg. So just for comparison, here's the base printed on my FDM printer. And as you can see, some layer lines and the coins look good, but they're not as crisp as they came out on the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro. Welcome to the world, baby dragon. And there you have it, our glowing wormling dragon. So if you're into printing high detail terrain, props, or miniatures, the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro is an absolute monster. And in future videos, I got more glowing miniatures coming up as well as maybe a full terrain build with even more LEDs. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.